Hello, and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Andrew Bazzelli. And I'm Dan Haynes. Today is Friday, October 27th, 2017, and a D-Day at North Penn. Mr. Brumball is back to test your knowledge with this week's Brumball Challenge. Let's take a look at your question. What is the most popular Halloween candy in the state of Pennsylvania? Remember to tweet your answer to at MPTV using the hashtag Brumball. The International Language Clubs held their annual World Cup yesterday. Let's see who took the victory this year. The North Penn Language Clubs held the seventh annual World Cup tournament. All the teams came out to have fun and engage in friendly competition. The only source of contention was who would be named the victor. Bengali Club for the win! German, German Club. German German club. Club. The Salsa Club, man, that's not even a question. Not no. us. We think French Club is going to win. French Club! French Club! It's just a chance to get out and play in some beautiful fall weather, which we may or may not be having today, and uh, allow some kids to, get, to go play soccer who don't usually get a chance to play on like a soccer team, and then come out and play in kind of a round robin tournament style and see who is the who can field the best team uh, from the cultural clubs that year. I think that the World Cup is a really good show of international friendship and tolerance and friendly competition towards a certain goal. I feel really good about just coming out here and having a good time. Let's get this goal! This is officially called the Brett Prestia Intercultural Club World Cup, and he came up with the idea of it, and uh, so it's named in his honor. Come on, Latin guys! Brad Prestia Intercultural Club World Cup is Salsa Team. Last year, we were kind of robbed of it, so, you know, we just had to reclaim our title. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Sam Santangelo. Maddie Oxenrider in the studio for The Lowdown. How we doing, Maddie? Got any fun plans coming up for Halloween? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take my little cousins out trick-or-treating. How about you? Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'll be at rehearsal for 1776, premiering November 9th through 12th. Oh, right. I'll see you there. Well, let's get there. started with the lowdown. The North Penn High School Economics and Practice class is currently selling sweatshirts for $30 until November 3rd. Sweatshirts are available in white, gray, navy, Columbia, and pink. And if chosen, you can feature a custom logo that North Penn students designed that will be placed on the back of the sweatshirts. You can also embroider your name and year of graduation for an extra $5. You can purchase your sweatshirt during your lunch period or see an economic student for an order form. Continuing with more North Penn apparel announcements, the Stool Store is having a 50% off sale of all North Penn clothing. The sale continues through the end of October or when supplies run out. Supplies are limited, so make sure to take advantage of the sale today. Also, today is the last great day to purchase Boograms. The Boograms can be purchased during lunch periods in the cafeteria and will be delivered on Halloween during nighttime. Speaking of Halloween, on October 31st, those who wear costumes should keep in mind that all costumes must be appropriate for school and not distract from classroom learning. Halloween attire should not be offensive to anyone, contain profanity or sexual innuendos, promote drugs, alcohol, or illegal substances, or be sacrilegious. Imitation weapons, masks, or face painting are not acceptable. Finally, remember that today is the last day to sign up to be involved in Powder Puff. For all those involved, be sure to attend the mandatory practice on Saturday, November 18th. For those who are looking to cheer on their classes, the game will be held on November 21st in Crawford Stadium. That's all I have on the lowdown. Back to the desk. Thanks, Maddie. We haven't had a Night Crier update in a couple of weeks, so let's check in with the Night Crier staff member, Noah Clemens, to give us an update on everything that's been happening on the Night Crier site. Hey North Penn, welcome to the Night Crier Update. As always, I'm Noah Clemens. The Night Crier staff is so excited to share that the school board town hall was a huge success, not only for our school, but for our community. Check out Claire Detner's article where she goes in depth about the event and gets interviews with some candidates. Also make sure to read a Broadway play review by Nina Rahman or an alumni feature by Dalen Brown. For night sports action, make sure to read my article on the field hockey team beating Souderton in the first round of district playoffs or Anissa Gardizzi's article about last Friday's football game. And remember, don't forget to read the night crier, day or night. Dr. Bauer is here live in the studio with some items to discuss. Dr. Bauer? Well, as of Wednesday night, yes. 
Congratulations, Dr. Bauer. How are you today? Thank you, gentlemen. I'm doing great. How are you? Can't complain. Just fine. Hey, guys, November's right around the corner, and I believe we're again going to do the infamous No Shave November among faculty, staff, and administration. And I would appreciate your help and the help of all students if we could stuff Mr. Haley's bin and make sure that he ends up with a goofy beard at the end of November. Is that good? Can you guys yeah. help me with that? I think that I can good. do that for you. Great. All right. So let's start with the sports update. In boys soccer action last night, the Knights fell to Council Rock North 3 to nil, seeing their season come to an end. The field hockey team upset six-seeded Plymouth White Marsh 5-4 in the second round of the playoffs on Wednesday after beating Souderton, coached by Nicole Bauer, in the first round on Monday night. Thank you for giving me bragging rights in my home. The Knights will now face the third seed Conestoga tonight on the road with a chance to clinch a spot in the state tournament. Good luck to the girls. The girls and boys cross country teams are on their way to Lehigh for districts today. This meet will determine which runners make it to states, so it's a big day on the cross country course. Boys water polo teams headed to Wilson today for the state championship, and they will play their first game tonight at 5 o'clock against LaSalle. Their next game will be Saturday morning at a time to be determined. Our Knights are headed into the tournament, seated second, so we wish them the best of luck. Finally, make sure you come out tonight for senior night for the football team, cheerleaders, and marching Knights as they take on Abington in the final game of the regular season. If you're going to join us, wear pink, and remember, no backpacks. Okay, I have a couple things for you this morning just to share with the student body. First, Dr. Hall and I started along a journey to develop a speaker series for the evenings to tackle some controversial issues that might be going on in our community, in our school, etc. We're looking for outside speakers to come in, but we're forming a committee to make determination as to who those speakers will be. Um, if any students are interested in being a part of that committee and helping us out, we have prominent members of our community and parents, et cetera, joining us. So reach out to me if you'd like to join us. Next, I'd like to remind you that you must sign up for the late bus every time you intend to use the late bus. Okay, sign up every time, and on Wednesdays, the late bus is only at 315. And finally, I want to talk about the parking lot. Parent drop-off in the mornings is in the first row of parking not right in front of the school, the first row of parked cars. Please do not allow your parents to turn down a row before that. It creates an unsafe environment. I realize you have to wait a few extra minutes. We want our kids to be safe. That's the most important thing. Go all the way down, pull down towards the pool and gym lobbies, and get out of the car down there. Also, Town Benson Police asked me to remind our students that you are not allowed to drive in the inner bus loop closest to the courtyard by the cafeteria. Pulled a couple students over this week, and they are going to begin issuing tickets. So do not go in the closest uh, drive to the courtyard in the cafeteria. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a great day, a wonderful weekend. Let's kick it back to the desk. Thank you, Mr. Bauer, and that committee sounds like a wonderful thing. Thanks, Dan. All right, with Halloween right around the corner, we ask students what they are going to be for Halloween. Well, I'm going to be for Halloween. Batman. I'm Tweedledee and she's Tweedledum. Harry Potter. A minion. I'm going to be the beast from Beauty and the Beast. I want to be Hannah Montana. DB. Salt. Pepper. I'm going to be a zombie. Spider-Man. My daughter is going to be Moana, so I am going to be Hey Hey the Chicken. I want to be for Halloween a good student. I'll be Squidward for Halloween. I'm going to be Belle for Halloween. Boo from Monsters, Inc. A spooky pumpkin. Frederick Douglass. I'm going to be a janitor. I love that job. Mr. Monero is at the round table with members of the Ski and Board Club. How are you, Mr. Monero? I'm good, Dan. I'm just trying to get this interview started so I can end it as fast as possible. Wow. We are here with the Ski and Board Club this morning. Alexis there and Kelly McNamara. I know it was like 37 degrees this morning, but I think you guys may be a little overdressed, wouldn't you say so? Yeah, I'd say so. A little bit. Maybe you're here to talk about some upcoming ski and board trips. Absolutely. We, we will be talking about that, but first, Monero, do you drive through the bus loop? I have never driven through the bus loop ever. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, so Kelly, we have trips coming up uh, for the ski and board club. So we have certain dates that you know of, we have certain places you know of, and certain ways to to participate that you know of. So tell us all about that. Okay, so our first our first trip is Jay Peak in Vermont, and it's January 12th through 15th, and that's $600 for a four-person room. And then our second trip is Okemo, Vermont, that's February 16th through 19th, and that's $400 per person for a four-person room. And in order to participate in these trips, you need to have a $200 deposit at our parent meeting 
on November 1st in the Audion at 7 p.m. All right, that's good information. So must attend meeting, mandatory yeah, meeting, mandatory right? Mandatory meeting. All right. Alexis, you guys have a lot of funds that you need to accrue for those events, so how are you going to do that? Um, we're also having a Chipotle fundraiser on November 6th. It's a Monday from 4 to 8. Um, you don't need a flyer. Like, they'll be around the school, but um, you don't actually need the flyer. Just when you get there, just say you're here for the Ski and Board Club fundraiser, mm -hmm. and they'll put it down. I know some people go to Chipotle every day, so yeah. like this time they can go and actually help you guys too, right? Yeah, it's great, um, and I'll be working that night, so... And despite that, they should still go. Yeah, exactly. And then also with the parent meeting, uh, if you get your $200 deposit in by the 1st, you'll be in a um, raffle for these three uh, scheme board beanies we have. All right, great. I think this, what you're looking at, means we're talking too much, so... Good luck, Ski and Board Club. Thank Ms. You. Rebecca just does a great job putting those morning announcements in. So have fun. Stay safe. Have a great weekend, North Penn. We'll see you at Crawford Stadium tonight. Let's get back to Mr. Brumball. Let's get back to Mr. Brumball to find out the answer to this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, the answer you've all been waiting for. The most popular candy in Pennsylvania are M&Ms. Bet you didn't know that. Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge, and happy Halloween, North Penn. Grab some goodies. The winner of this week's Brumball Challenge is Haley Simmons at Simoe. Before we leave, we want to wish the North Penn Marching Knights good luck as they compete in states this weekend. That's all we have for this edition of Mornings. I'm Andrew Bazzelli. And I'm Dan Haynes. We leave you just with another reason why we love North Penn. Oh, my God.